Hello there, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVBNet's video series on C++ and in this video we will be learning about relational operators so these are the relational operators we have in our C++ so let's see one by one how this whole thing will work ok so we'll just give you a very basic example here like if 1 is equal to 1 yes it is true and it will print true ok nothing fancy that's it so this is the use of this thing ok so let's go ahead and print this see it is printing you true here got it so it is not like you can have only this constant 1 is equal to 1 you can have variables also like you are having integer a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 12 then you can equate 1 with b I mean a with b here ok so in this case if it is not true should we should print something like false right so this is false so this will now print false here let's check that see it is printing false so this is how we check whether this a is equal to equal to b so this is for checking the equality here okay so this was about how to check this equal thing now let's check whether it is not equal so if you will apply this not equal sign then this will become true before this was giving false because it was not equal but if you will check a is not equal to b yes it is true because it is 10 and this is 12 so this expression will become true because it is telling that a is not equal to b which is true right so in this case it will print true here let's check that see it is printing true here okay so this is how it works and i hope you know how this if and else and how this variable thing works so if you have not watched my previous videos which talk about this if else statement and how this variable thing work please go ahead and watch that first so we were talking about this greater than now so let's check this one now a is greater than b no it is not because a is 10 here we can see and b is 12 so 10 is greater than 12 no it is false so this expression will become false here so in that case if this is false you are not going to go inside if you will be going inside else okay so here false will come see false so this was the case of greater here if you want to check it is greater than or equal to we can check that as well greater than or equal to but in this case also this is neither greater nor equal okay so if you want to print it like no before we'll check that now see it is false right because it is neither greater nor equal so if you want to make it equal like this so this time this equation should be true so what this equation tells as it tells like either it should be greater than or it should be equal so a is not greater than b because a is 10 and b is also 10 so it is not greater than but it is equal because both are 10 and 10 so second condition will become true ok then it, it will go inside got it so let's check that see it is going inside because it was not greater but it was equal so this expression become true and it went inside that ok so the same case with less than here we can check that a is less than b no a is not less than b because both are 10 and 10 so let's execute this it is telling you false which is correct output ok and the similar case for less than or equal to so if you will apply less than or equal to which is this one this will become true because a is not less than b but it is equal ok so let's check that see it is true so this is how this relational operators work and it does not work only with this it works almost all the data types ok so this is a simple understanding of how this whole thing will work now it's up to you how you want to use your relational operators ok I'll give you a simple example here like C++ is equal to C++ and we'll check that with this equal equal operator which is nothing but this operator which tells that if this is string this is a string right this is not one two or something this is a string one string is equal to another string and this is going to print yes see it is coming yes so as I told you can apply this equal operator for almost all the data types available okay 
so that's it let's look at the next video and the next video is about logical operator so this was relational operator now we'll see logical operator in next video so let's look at that